Hey, what's up everybody? We're back today talking about tracking down the Griffin Robes schematic. Now this schematic is for a piece of light armor that was added to the game with the Trespasser Any DLC. Is sending people to explore I'm going to pause a bit ruins, just to let them stop talking. No, I suspect he keeps the reason secret, even from his inner circle. So, in order to get this schematic, the meat of it is that you need to complete um, a number or a chain of war table operations that are available to you after you get out of Adamant Fortress, after you get out of the Fade, and you've chosen to conscript the Wardens into the Inquisition. So you had two options when you spoke to them after the Fade. One was help the Inquisition, the other one was you're banished from Orlais, get out. If you choose to ask them to help the Inquisition and conscript them, when you come back to Skyhold and come to your war table, you're going to have a war table operation that you see on the left hand side of your uh, left hand side of the map on the Orlay side that's uh, highlighted right now called Protect Valgamord from Darkspawn. The chief goal here in making decisions with <sighs> these war table the operations I'm still reeling over the army of demons is to what would have happened if the Inquisitor Jesus, hadn't arrived. shut the fuck up Josephine uh, the the whole goal here is to engage the Grey Wardens in this chain of operations and lose as few of them as humanly possible so that uh, you have enough left to complete the final uh, war table operation so I'm gonna show you the choices that you wanna make in who you send on these missions in order to get you there and once we're done, we'll check out our schematic and what it looks like and all that good stuff. But the first one, you want to send Cullen on. Uh, for me, it's a 9-minute, 45-minute mission, or 45-second mission. So we're going to go ahead and do right. that, and we'll be back with the completion of it in just a moment. All right, so we just finished up Protect Valgamord from Darkspawn. We sent Cullen. He came back. You see we took a few casualties. That's what we were going for. The next one is going to be called Find Source of Darkspawn Attacks. We'll click accept. We're going to do this one, and this time we're going to send Leliana. So we're going to send Leliana. It's 12 minutes, 45 seconds. We'll be back with the result in just a have. moment. All right, so we've completed the find the source of the dark spawn attacks. You can see here's the outcome. And we're going, it doesn't say there's a follow-up quest, but there is. So we're going to go ahead and accept this. And you can see there the uh, follow-up quest for this is Pursue Marquis Buffon. We're going to select that, and we're going to send Leliana on this as well. You can see this one is a 51-minute operation. We'll be back with its conclusion in just a moment. Inquisitor. All right, we have pursued the Marquis Buffon, and we have gotten 30 influence out of him. And you can see that the result is a favorable one here. And we're going to move on to our next mission, which is Defeat. Marquis Buffon. So we'll grab that. That one's going to take either 51 minutes or 54. Either one is the same result. So we're just going to go with Leliana for the sake of expediency. And we'll be back with the result in just a moment. Okay, we have defeated the Marquis de Sade. And you can see the result on the screen. How about that? <laughs> All right. So, uh, we defeated the Marquis de uh, Buffon, and he, the Great Wardens took some losses, but uh, they still haven't been depleted, so we're good to move on to our next and subsequently final mission. So we're going to accept the report, and then we're going to do Destroy Darkspawn Outbreak. And for this one, you want to send Cullen. Um, not only is it the shortest time, however, it also ensures that the Wardens will survive this final uh, battle with the Darkspawn. So we're going to choose Cullen, and we'll be back with the result of this right. in just a moment. All right, we have finished up Destroyed Darkspawn Outbreak. And you can see here is the final result here. So all worked out well, and we got our Griffin Robes schematic. So we'll be back in just a moment to go check that out. All right, so here is our Griffin Robes schematic. There are the slots on it. This is what it looks like by default on a human. And if we pop out of here and go into our inventory, I'll show you what it actually looks like once you craft it uh, on 
you know, and put a little bit of color to it. So there it is. Not a bad looking piece of armor. So that's it for getting the uh, schematic for the Griffin robes. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you're actually looking for the unique item in the game, which is the robes themselves, the purple item itself, I will put a link in the video description you can click on. So if you're out in your playthrough and you want to track down that item for an early on uh, good looking piece of armor, you'll be able to do that as well. So if you found the video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching. Take care.